Before I start, I would like to thank everybody who ha that has helped me get to this point. My teachers over there and my new teachers, my new avid teachers, Miss Smith and Miss GA, and my mom, Angela Bailey. During my time at Avid, I have overcome a lot of challenges and obstacles that have come my way. Normally, I wouldn't be able to face them alone. So becoming part of this family has helped make me a stronger person than I was before. I have learned how to face adversity without bringing myself down or any friends around me. With my Avid family, it's just a great place to come to every day besides home to get help or just to talk. No matter what was wrong with me this year, I could always count on someone and they get a community to talk to. It was just another home away from home to help shape and model me into the person that I am today. The teachers are just like second mothers. They really stay on your case. <laughs> they know that you can always achieve more when you focus on the issue ahead. We have three classes that make up our avid family with three amazing teachers. Ms. Smith, Ms. G.A., and Mrs. Briggs. I'm glad that my Avid family has assisted me when needed. Avid motivates young people to be better citizens that will strive to always go above and beyond to achieve their goals. You never have to worry about someone in your Avid family putting you down or lowering your self-esteem. So that is why I'm proud to be part of this program. My teacher, Ms. Smith, and our class tutor, Sarah, help us each day by pointing us toward the door to success. They want to help us so that we can become better citizens in America. They know that it would be a hard road to travel, but they believe in us and know with a little faith we'll succeed. I really couldn't have asked for a more enriching learning environment. For example, this year I have experienced something horrible that has changed my life. I decided to talk to my teacher, Ms. Smith, about it. But I knew it would be hard. My older sister was coming home from school when all of a sudden she was struck by a pickup truck. The doctors didn't know whether she'd live or die. Her spleen was shattered. Her leg and jaw were broken. Her eyes were swollen. And there were many other problems. I couldn't deal with the situation. Can I get a call? Right. <laughs> and I knew that I couldn't talk to my mom about how I was feeling because she was feeling worse than I was. Ms. Smith sat down and talked to me and assured me that everything would be okay. So that helped me a lot because I realized that she would be there to support me. I knew from that point on, everything was gonna be okay. I didn't wanna believe I couldn't be without my whole family because the pain was so unbearable to me. There were things that would turn my family apart. Not having a member of our family there to spend time with us, not only that, but having, having to go back and forth to the hospital every day to see her, see her in her state of condition. I can't really describe how my head fell from the clouds as I sunk to a new low every time I would think about what took place in that accident. I became very sad and scared. I would have never thought that I could talk to a teacher about it and she would respond truthfully and give me the peace of mind that I needed and help me get the peace of mind that I needed. It was just an awesome feeling. My ever, my ever teacher helped me want to stay in school so that I can go to college. In my ever class, they bring guest speakers into the school so they can tell us about their interesting jobs and how they got to where they are by going to college. For example, a taste tester came to our school and brought some food so that we could try it and told us about everything we were trying. She explained her college experience and how it gave her the opportunity to get where she is by going to college and how she got an interesting job. They just teach us so much. I'm going to college so I can further my education, but to also start a recreation center for the teens that are going through tough times in their lives.
At the center, teens will be able to hang out and release some of the SS stress. In fact, I can, one of the most important things that ever has taught me is that I can go to college and that's one of the most important things that I have realized. The teachers encourage us by explaining ways we can get money for college and tell us about the various scholarships they have to offer. Now I know that when I graduate in 2011, the following year I will be in college. I hope to attend Texas Tech University so that I can study philosophy and get, my, get a bachelor's degree. I, I also want to go after my master's degree and hopefully play for their football team. <laughs> that is where I'm striving to be. Thank you for allowing me to write about my Evan family, my family away from home.